Okay, this is video three on this Honeywell zone control system that was installed on a courier union unit. I have, I think, two previous videos just before this, and this was installed about, what is it, five years ago with continuous problems. Uh, after, since we got out of here, when we were asked to look at this, the closed light did not come on. It would not close. All the other zones worked. But what we discovered, we only had 19 volts down here. And uh, it turned out, if you watch the other two videos, that upstairs in the package unit, they installed the wrong transformer. They installed a 240 volt to 24 volt transformer. But the power into the AC unit upstairs in the package is 208. So at the transformer upstairs, it was 21 volts with no load and then as soon as you energized any of the dampeners it dropped down to 19 volts and so after changing as you see in the previous video i changed the transformer to a 208 transformer we now have 25 volts at the outlet and you can see the light is now on closed and from open it has now moved to closed so it's actually closing the dampener now. So all these years of intermittent problems and uh, many, many man hours of wasting time, replacing parts, adjusting things, trying to compensate and jerry-rig stuff was caused by the initial installer who put the wrong transformer in. That's it for this video. Oh, one other thing. When it gets to, um, and you look at this octopus mess down here, if you want to see what kind of duct explosion I'm in coming back here you see all this this is all off one system you don't even want to know how they have it put together and arranged it's beyond your wildest dreams or nightmare um, owners of companies who send technicians out who are not qualified to working on systems the actual owner the punishment should be when this is a routine problem with in particular companies and owners if the owner doesn't work in the field he is to come out the punishment by city state governing whatever entity it is as a punishment for fix the owner himself is to be sent out to the job site even if he's never picked up a screwdriver in his life or he was a jump dumb shit half ass who is only good at bullshitting and talking to people and making people work for him who he didn't know nothing about but he could point fingers a piece of shit like that should be sent out to every job that he fucked up in the last several years and you keep on going back as you find more screwed up jobs part of his punishment is to fix everyone himself with no helper and on top of that he is to attend a two-year HVAC college and he has to show up and sign in and stay the full four or five hours every night and he has to do that until he gets it. Even though a degree means nothing, he has to stay there and waste his time and sit in class. And either one, he's going to learn something or he gives, he's given the option to drop out of the business and he's never allowed to own or touch or have anything to do in the HVAC business at all whatsoever. He is to have his vehicles removed from his tools from him, his bank account seized, and he's be, to be given a application to either McDonald's or a janitorial service for scrubbing toilets. That's all he gets to do. So if you can't, you don't get to sell it. If you can't install it and you can't fix it, you can't diagnose it, you don't get to sell it. Real simple. That's all for this video. See you guys next time.